it's really a matter of trust, of mm -hmm. respect, and learning how to trust not just young children in the kitchen, but for us as adults to trust ourselves right. um, in the process of selecting, of preparing, of even eating our food is something that has kind of been pushed out of us, d discouraged mm. even. And it's heartbreaking. It, it really, really is heartbreaking to see just how much diet culture has discouraged us from trusting uh, our, our own cues for hunger and fullness, our desire to eat, our, our knowledge of what we do and don't want, what we will and won't find satisfying. And that's been a really, really crucial part of this journey, not just for me personally, but for my entire family. Right. Uh, my husband and I, you know, both struggled with a lot of different aspects of breaking free from diet culture. And we are right. working hard to raise a child who doesn't have to, you know, work through all the trauma uh, surrounding food and eating that his parents did. Right. And so really giving ourselves permission to just eat, to just right. enjoy the foods that we like, to try things that are new to us, and even to say no to things that we don't like. Those are all wildly radical concepts in this day and age. Right. And I, I love being able to share them with more and more people around the globe so that they can pass down these concepts of food freedom to mm -hmm. the up and coming generations. It's a joy and a privilege to be able to do so, to be able to get people to look at food just like you know, we encourage people to look at education and, and life right. in a completely different manner than they may have thought possible.